Eyewitness News on the Health Beat now, part three of our three-part series on facial rejuvenation. Yesterday, we watched as 55-year-old Pam Wallace underwent six different procedures on her face in an effort to give her a more refreshed and youthful look. We visited with Pam about 10 weeks after the surgery. From the beginning, Pam Wallace said her goal was not to look like anyone else. I just want to look a little bit younger the way I feel. <laughs> but after six hours on the operating table, this family therapist looked in the mirror and did see someone else, a younger and livelier woman. Who's that old woman? <laughs> Ten weeks after the surgery, both Pam and her surgeon, Patrick Sullivan, looked at the two women side by side. The skin was coming down and hanging over the lashes whereas now the lashes are free. Next area was down here along the jawline. The tissue was just lifted up here, lift up the corners of the mouth a little bit because you could see the things were coming down. Well, I'm very happy with it. I think that it's early. But the real critic is Pam herself. And for Pam, it wasn't just about looking younger, but feeling younger too. The weight of my eyelids made me feel tired all the time. I don't feel tired anymore. I think it's made me feel more confident and energetic. And she's not the only one who's noticed. Most people say something's different. Usually the first thing they ask is, did you lose weight? Two, you changed your hair. And they said I looked younger, but nobody said, did you have a facelift? In fact, Pam's facelift is actually a facial rejuvenation, a more extensive and more natural take on the traditional facelift. It feels natural. It feels like Dr. Sullivan did a, a really beautiful job in maintaining my character. Pam still has four or five months of recovery left, but she says it's all been worth it. I feel good. <laughs> well, she looks pretty good too. It's also very important to find the right surgeon for a procedure of this magnitude. Before choosing a surgeon, you should check with his or her medical school, talk with patients, and get referrals within the medical community if possible. We want to remind you, you're looking at local plastic surgeons in our call-in center to answer your questions about plastic surgery. There's Dr. Sullivan himself and some other fine surgeons. You can call them until 6.30 at 228-1850. That was just an incredible difference, Pat. It really was, and, and the, the recovery she still has to go through is mostly just a little bit more swelling before she gets the maximum benefits.